This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Episode of Vast Wasteland. I'm W.D. Neal. I'm Marty Willow. <coughs> no Mark here. <laughs> Mark Noise I keep. No. <laughs> and we're going to talk about concerts today, man. But like first, uh, let me tell you when, when we're here. We're here like on um, Wednesdays at 10 and then Thursdays at 3 and might be here Saturday, might not, man. I, I, had a, I had a report of a Saturday morning spotting that we were on a Saturday morning. Okay, we've been spotted on Saturday. Saturday morning spotting. Saturday, Saturday, morning, Saturday morning, morning spotting. <laughs> Saturday morning spotting. Saturday morning spotting. We were spotted on a Saturday. I and if you want to like write us or something, you would like to write to um, <laughs> to an address <laughs> to um, a post box. office box, Vast Wasteland, post office box fifteen fourteen eleven. Columbus, Ohio, 43215. And then if you want to do any of that other stuff, well, good luck. Cause You're going to have to go back amongst your tape library and, and you know, because you've taped every show so far, I'd have to get the website and all that, because Mark's not here. And we know that you've <laughs> taped them because we can see you. <laughs> we saw you do it. See, there you go. You're doing it now. So, but anyway, um, concerts, man. Oh, uh, gosh. I remember back when I was a kid, we had some friends that would, like, always take us to see The Temptations every time they were in town. It was, like, every year <laughs> we'd go to see The Temptations. It was cool. And it would be, like, um, we'd go to the concert, and we'd get out, and it would go to, like, go to a place and have pie. And I'd, <laughs> I'd feel like, whoa, it's, like, tomorrow already. But it would only be, like, it probably just 10, 10.30, maybe close to 11. It'd probably be like 10 or 10.30, you know, but it was, back then, Columbus used to, like, clothes and stuff. I mean, not Guess that it what? doesn't it now. Does. But, so you were, I mean, what, were like, like, like eight, no nine years old or something? No cars on the street anymore. It was, like, up to maybe 12 or so. But, gosh, it was it was just the coolest thing. We'd go to go to concerts. And then we, like, um, Well, you could go to the fair and see concerts. Well, that's true. The fair used to have free concerts, and you could go. Good free concerts. And every year we would go, and well, well, mom really, we'd end up probably going to see Bob Hope or something, because she liked to see Bob Hope. It was, it was like <laughs> cool. And Bob was always there every year. He was always at the fair. You could, you could depend on Bob Hope being at the fair. Mm-hmm. Of course, that was before he got to be real big and all. You know, it's. it's even before we thought he was really something, like he does now, he's really something, he's really wild, of course. Bob's that's wild. like almost on the last leg now, but hey, that's okay. <laughs> Back then, it According was something. The tabloids. And, but uh, I saw some great concerts at the fair. I saw, um, gosh, uh, the OJs, Earth, Wind, and Fire, man. The uh, Jets. Yeah, we went and saw the Jets. <laughs> that, saw, was, that was, that was like the first one I took my kids to because they were little. And they thought the Jets were really cool. And so it was like an easy way to take little kids 
to big music. Yeah. Which was big music for them, even though it was the Jets, okay? <laughs> and where are the Jets today? Who knows, eh? <laughs> but I did see Joan Jet at the fair, too. Yeah, I saw Joan Jet. Joan Jet. Get to what? Because you could go in and watch the sound checks. And, like, you want to stake out, like, a really good seat in the middle somewhere. So you'd go in at, like, you'd go to the fair, and, and then you'd go in at, like, what, the concert was at 3, so you go in at 12, so you get a good seat. <laughs> and that's pretty much where we spent some days at the fair. You'd like, uh, you know, it was pretty much a thing. They would have two shows, the, the afternoon show and then the evening show. And uh, I know a friend of mine and I, we would, like, go around and we'd get to the fair early and, you know, do the rides and games and stuff. And then we'd head over toward the um, the concert venue. Venue? Maybe an hour or two beforehand, go get a pizza, and just sit in there, eat pizza and wait, you know, then it would fill up, everybody would see the concert, it would be cool, then everybody would leave, we'd go out, get another pizza, <laughs> and sit there to watch the evening one. Because that was just the thing to do. I mean, it was nice and fun and free, basically. You had to pay for your food and stuff, but the the concerts were free. It was cool. There was and, a bad free concert. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you just don't remember a bad free concert because a free concert <laughs> is cool enough. And then when it's good, it's really good. And even if it's bad, it's still good because you didn't have to pay for it. For it. <laughs> so there were no bad free concerts. Of course, now you, you got to pay, pay to extra. go. And it's a lot smaller, and it's like dark and stuff. And of course, we did get to see David, David Lee, Lee Roth, Roth there again. Hair. And yeah, it was but, like know. sad. <laughs> well, that part was like sad that he cut his hair. And it was that, still a good show. Yeah, but it's like so. But it's like the cut. But but like as far as concerts goes, like probably first introduction is like fairs and carnival. You know, carnival. Uh, you know. Festival and and stuff and like and that, and you know. Because like we even saw Randy and Newman and downtown. Yeah. When when free music in the air, where else would it be? Concert. Saw Leon Redbone. Leon Redbone. That was a good show. That was a good free show. Leon Redbone. But like the fairs, <laughs> where like a lot of people probably see their first concert. Quite often. Well, yeah. at least people that are like our age probably saw their first show at the fair. Or uh, you're lucky at your high school, but uh, we never had that. We had a band come to my high school. That was probably like my first concert. So we had a real rock band that was like from, from like someplace like Cleveland. Ooh, was Ooh. it the Raspberries? <laughs> no, it was Blaze. Blaze. They, they, they somehow it was like they were supposed to play the senior prom. The band didn't make it to the prom, <laughs> like you'd expect a band to make it to a prom. And so, since they'd been paid, they had to play, and so they just did like this open assembly. And they set up in the auditorium, and it was like, for a lot of us, because I'm from like a small place where we don't have a big fair or anything, so it was like, for a lot of us, that was the first, the first kind of concert thing, because they had the big speakers, and, you know, as far as we knew, they were a real rock band. <laughs> they had the long hair, the leather, the guitars, the, the drums, guitars, the, drums the, guys, the whole the bit. The cigarettes. <laughs> and but, lights. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What was the first big, like, big one? Like, like I went to Cincinnati to see. Those were, like, where my first big shows was, it was going to Cincinnati because I live near Cincinnati, so Cincinnati was the place to go. And it's like, you got to get into this whole, you could always do a whole, like, like back then you would go to the concert and there was like this, anything went. You went into Riverfront Coliseum and it was like an anything goes kind of thing. They like shut the doors and that was it. You just, it was a party. And now it's like when you go to concerts, well I noticed when I moved up here and you started taking me to shows up here, it's like, it's Columbus, you can't dance in the, in the, what was that place? Um, not the well, it was the, the place that looks like Disneyland on acid now. Well, it used to be the, uh, what, what did they used to call it? The Ohio Center? <laughs> the Ohio Center in the center of Ohio or something? They used to call it the Ohio Center. Now it's the uh, convention, Columbus Convention Center. But well, I was very used to being able to go to a big show, and you didn't have to stay in your seat, and you could dance on the steps or on the floor or wherever you were dancing. That was Cincinnati etiquette, I guess. <laughs> Concert etiquette. 
And then I moved up here, and it's like, stay in your seat. Where is your ticket? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. well, I didn't think it was very fun. Well, back back when, you know, there used it used to be fun here, too. You could get up, you could dance. It was cool. And it, the, the, everything um, just kind of got strict after uh, the whole... The trampling? The who thing in Cincinnati, well, basically. That was, Cincinnati. That, was, that was... Then Columbus just said, oh, well, we can't have that here. We'll have to get rid of that festival seating and stuff like that. Everybody must have a ticket. Every seat must have a ticket. You must sit in your seat. You must stay in your place. You will not get up. You can only clap. <laughs> but, you know, it w was like, I went to concerts after the Who thing down in Cincinnati. And, yeah, you had to have a ticket. Yeah, you got in. But once the lights went out, <laughs> the only thing that got real heavy about was when the, there was a place down there called the Beverly Hills Place, and it burned down. Then they got really strict on smoking. And you'd be sitting watching the show, and somebody behind you would light up a cigarette, and you'd have a flashlight in your face. And that was, they got really strict about that, but there you didn't really have to stay in your seat, so who <laughs> gave a damn? <laughs> That's why I like Polaris, because you go out and it's out in the grass, in the meadow. But they've got this real weird policy where, like, okay, it's like normal concert behavior. Guys are supposed to pick up their girlfriends and put them on their shoulders if they can. And then you do that at Polaris, and they're like, no, no, get down, get down. You get these big security guards pulling these little twiglets off these big guys who could hold them up anyway. Twiglets. <laughs> it's so bizarre. It's like this whole, I don't know. Twiglets. It's like you want to take the security people aside and go, excuse me, we're at, a, we're at a rock and roll concert. We're here to enjoy ourselves. And those people holding their girlfriends or boyfriends or whoever on their shoulders. They're enjoying themselves. They're having fun and we don't give a, you know. And so it's, it's just like they've got this real strict kind of... Nazi. <laughs> Attitude. Behavior. Behave yourself at those shows. So... <laughs> Well, that's my take. Behavior. Behave yourself. <laughs> Concert behavior. Behave yourself. Okay. Um, see, Vets Memorial used to be the big place to see concerts here, and gosh, I've seen so many concerts at Vets. It's, it's ridiculous. I saw, let's see, go way back. Um, in fact, that's where the Temptations always were. The Temptations <laughs> are always at Vets. But, um, it always comes back to them Temptations. Let's see. So, uh, Graham Central Station, uh, let's see, it was Parliament. It wasn't known Funkadelic, but it was Parliament, and that's when you realize that Parliament and Funkadelic are pretty much the same group. The same people are involved. But anyway, it was Parliament, and, and, and Graham Central Station, and saw Todd Rundgren there, saw Rundgren there a few times. And Did you see Kiss there? Saw Kiss! Yeah, saw <laughs> Kiss there. That was the first time I saw Kiss, was, was at Vets Memorial. That was great. Then I seen Little Bay, like like Starcastle, and... Folks, you, nobody even remembers anymore. Star Castle, uh, yeah. Star Castle, uh, let's see. They open for Faster yes. Pussycat now. Yeah, who knows where Star Castle is? <laughs> they probably just fell off the face of the earth. Um, but I would I would like certain groups, and I would go see them every time they appeared. Like when Run Gunner was here, I would go see Run Gunner every time. When Kiss was here, I'd go see Kiss every time. You know, it was, it was great. And so then I just pretty much got into the thing of... Um, it is just the concert thingy. You go, you see the show, you go, you buy the concert book, you get the t-shirt, you know, and you go back in, and it's like, um, there used to not be a strict uh, recording policy either, so people would bring in, like, you know, little recorders, and they'd record the concert. It'd be awful sound, because, you know, you couldn't get all that in, but still, it was like, hey, it's the concert, whoa, Proof listen to that, there. listen to that big, booming bass <laughs> echoing stuff here, whoa, so it's great, yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something, like, okay, when I first met you, okay, when I first met him, like, I thought he was, like, some kind of coke dealer or something, because I would go into the place where he worked, and he'd always have on a t-shirt from the concert from the night before. And I thought the only people I knew that were like rich enough <laughs> to go to concerts like every time, like every time there was a concert, you'd walk into where, and he'd have this shirt on. It's like, you were there? Yeah, I was there. Oh man, just stay away from me. <laughs> 
I've just been to like several concerts. Then I found out he just didn't have a life, so he just went to concerts all the time. <laughs> And to see, like, George Carlin, Carlin, George Carlin, he's cool. And to see George Carlin several times, look, it's George Carlin! Ah! But he's gotten bitter. Yeah, well, George, is, <laughs> he's bittered up over the years. Aerosmith. I've been to see Aerosmith. Better picture. Several <laughs> times. Different times for Aerosmith. Aerosmith, <laughs> it was cool. We saw Aerosmith at, um... At Polaris. At Cooper Arena one time. What that was, was that? A, that was a cool concert. What was Cooper Arena? Cooper. Oh, the stadium! Yeah. That's right. It was a good show. I don't remember. <laughs> the, uh, the the baseball stadium. Joan Jett it? opened for that Joan one. Joan Jett opened. Joan See, Jett that was another time we saw Joan Jett. Adam Ant. Hey. Back in the Ant Music days. Ant Music. Goody 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 goody. Oh, Michael, do you know this song? It goes ooh ooh ooh. <laughs> It's all the Beastie Boys, but there's nothing really to see there. Cincinnati. We saw them in Cincinnati. They opened up for Run DMC. <laughs> that was really a bad show. <laughs> well, it, it, it just teaches you something about... Um, Some people the, belong on tape. <laughs> yeah, who's like the real performer, a real act, and then who's just like sampling other people's music. Who's just a real act and who's just a real ass. <laughs> yeah. Pat Benatar, she was, she was cool. How come that picture looks like Stevie Nicks? Oh, she's trying to catch it on Stevie Nicks look. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, broken mirrors. Okay, here we go. Pat Benatar. Yeah, the whole hey. broken mirror in, in the hair thing. Okay. Pat had this overbite thing, Hammer. It wasn't an underbite. She has more of an underbite, actually. I thought it was an overbite. Overbite, underbite. Who cares? What's she doing now? Nothing. Well, she's probably still out there somewhere. She's out there on those REO Speedwagon tours. <laughs> Which, I'm sorry. This is something I get. I've had people go to the... The quote, let's 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 say the quote oldies shows yeah. out at out at the big place, out at the big meadow, okay, and they complain. It's like, well, I went to see this band, and when I saw them back in the '70s, they were really loud and rocking, and I go out here to see them, and you can't hear them because they've got the volume turned way down. So it's like, don't play the place if you can't pay the fine, okay? Keep the oldie bands at home. <laughs> you can't pay the fine. Don't play the arena. Alice Cooper. Saw so Alice Cooper at Vest Memorial. Alice, Alice, Alice puts on a good show Alice because Cooper. Alice is a showman. Okay, he. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's there to put on a show. Alice puts on a show. I mean, it's it's the singing and all too, but I I go to see a show. Alice puts on a show. Well, you know, we're really going to have to. There were some comments made on the uh, local radio about uh there's a band called marilyn manson yeah and no i know we haven't seen marilyn manson my son's a big marilyn manson head but some comment was made on the radio that hey marilyn manson's just doing alice cooper <laughs> badly so it's almost like makes me want to go see the show just to see but then i've never really seen alice live no alice live is wild because he's uh he does a lot of theatrical stuff he does um magic pretty much and alice just no puts he does on... illusions well, okay he alice does illusions Illus Stage illusions that, um, but he's perfected them. So I mean, you, it's just great. Alice puts on an excellent show. Oh, I remember when we see Harry. I mean, it's not really a concert, but it's a concert when you go see somebody who doesn't sing, but they talk. Yeah, Harry Anderson. Carlin. Harry Anderson. Harry Anderson still have not figured out how they run the big thing through the arm. But when you see something like that on TV, it's like oh, it's on TV. But when you really see it, like at the place, and he's like, and the blood is, it, it's just. The big thing it's is, is that it's like a, a long, a real long needle. Everybody knows the geek and trick. And he puts it through his arm, and he runs it through there. And I mean, there's others doing it now. Yeah. But. Penn and Teller. I'd like to see Penn and Teller. That would be a good. But anyway. Penn and Teller. Devo. Devo. They were. They put on a show. Well, they were supposed to. Go ahead. Well, performing. Are we going to go through this whole bucket here? Let's see. Well, Dio. I now, know. hold it. Did we see Dio when he played for somebody else? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Ronnie James Dio. No, I'm he thinking of something like else. The, the lead singer for Iron Butter, not Iron Butter, but Black no, Sabbath. Black Sabbath. After, after Ozzy Osbourne left. Ozzy's fun. Foreigner. Saw Foreigner at a... Well, see, they're doing those old, the old folks tours now. Yeah. Well, foreigner, I mean, they always were like, kind of it's mellow. It's kind of weird when it's like stuff you listen to and they're saying it's oldies now and you're like, uh-uh. I remember that. I'm not that old. Yeah, Billy I Idol. Ah! 
Billy Idol. Billy Idol now has a bike shop, I've heard. <laughs> oh, he had a good guitarist. Well, his guitarist went on to pay for Michael Jackson. Yeah, he did. He has the, lots of hair, the, the black hair guitarist. Yeah. Howard Hell, I don't Jones, know his name. I didn't uh, meet the guy. Howard so, Jones put on an odd and interesting concert because he had a lot of uh, mimes and stuff helping him. And mimes at a concert. sheets over their heads and stuff. Kiss! Yeah, this was the 76 Kiss Tour. Boy, what a what a tour. And since then, they've just done several things. Hey, look here. <laughs> Kiss Army. Whoa! What a, what, what a surprise. Um, Kiss, Kiss, yeah. <laughs> Kiss always has an interesting tour book. Kiss. <laughs> Sometimes they just get big. Kiss! Yeah, Gee, have you, have you ever big. seen Kiss? Several times. I used to go see, go see Kiss all the Well, time. you took me, so... <laughs> When Hello, did you go to cool that one? I saw him at, at the, uh, the the convention center. When did you go to that one? I don't remember you going to that one. Cindy, Cindy Lauper. Lauper. You slept through that one. That was a weird show. Okay, weird shows. It's like when they have somebody open that you... That, they had Eddie Money opening for Cindy Lauper, and this was like at the height of the Goonies craze. And, and, and so all these little girls with one pink pigtail were there, and Eddie Money comes out and does this real... F you rock and roll show, which he was really good. <laughs> and there's all these parents, oh my goodness, oh, ooh, ooh, we shouldn't have brought little Patty Sue. <laughs> and then Cindy Lauper comes out and she does a very sweet show. She she does something for you know, she's PG kind of rated girl. But she does this very nice show, it's very enjoyable. So it was just like I think the other weird strange one was Iggy Pop opening for the Pretenders. Yeah, that's which was right. kind of weird because but it worked, but it was kind of weird. Because Iggy's like Mr. Mr. Punk, and he's, and he's still like that. <laughs> well, Iggy can't help it. Look at him now. Meatloaf! Meatloaf. Uh-oh! <laughs> Our cameraman's exploding! <laughs> Meatloaf always puts on a cool concert. Gee, I wish I had the this recent tour book when we saw, went to saw him. Went to saw him. Went went to see saw him, him? <laughs> the last time at, um, at Polaris, because he uh, had great big inflatable things that... It blew up, and they were like neat. Yeah, the bat was really cool. The bat out of hell. Came stage props are really important, I think. Well, stay. I see. I I enjoy They're seeing fun. a show that's a true show, and not just seeing. Um, I enjoy seeing the performers, but if they're putting on a great show, that's that that just makes it really really great. Uh, here's Ed, Eddie Eddie Murphy. Saw him back in his comedy days. That was that was fun. Was it fun? It was fun. Now, how many Aussies do you have? Well, did, no, I didn't go to that one because I didn't know you then. I just saw Ozzy twice, basically, but sometimes if you go to a concert, they'll have the previous tour book there. So that's what I did. I bought, changing the, of the guard I bought happened. their previous <laughs> tour book. Pretenders. Pretenders. We have to see the now, well, pretenders. we've seen them three times? Mm, at least twice, if not three. But you know I liked them best at the Newport. Okay, yeah. I I like them best. Oh, we're running down of time. We're running down of time. This has been English for second languagers. <laughs> Newport's a, that's a good place to see concerts. Because Newport's it's like, a really um, cool place. More of an intimate kind of a setting. I get right a, a fun crowd and everybody knows they're there to see a concert. Maybe we'll see Diamond Dave there yes, someday. David Lee, boy, he's, he's just had... To see him at the fair was really weird. Hard luck after hard luck there, but so. Davis still puts on a great show. Oh, well, it's... Run DMC! <laughs> it was fun! Simple Minds. I saw Simple Minds at a, at a concert. Sting! I went to Miami U to see <laughs> Sting. This was a cool show. <laughs> Sting puts on a great show. Tina Turner. I stood in line all this night to get Tina the Turner Wilbert tickets. Tour book collection show. And this was a great show. Tina put on a great show. <laughs> <laughs> now this was a free show that bordered on being a bad free show. It was fun. The turtles coming out of their shell, featuring Shredder with the really bad microphone. Let's yeah, do the Shredder voice. Shredder's mic kept going out, so we'd be talking. I'll get it up. <laughs> I don't know, for me, the turtles needed their shells. It they wanted funny. their shells. They needed to hide in those shells. Triumph! <laughs> I saw Triumph. I, know, I don't think City you saw Fair. these bands. I did, too. You didn't take me. Who did he? 
Steve Winwood. Now this is a side one. Saw Steve Winwood at that at Vets Memorial. Yes. Saw yes. Saw yes a couple times. Yes puts on a great show. Yes puts on a great show. And there's they could be considered an oldies of course, band. Of but, course. Um, well, wait a minute though. Anybody puts on a good show, a great show, if that's what you want to see. Because people get it buy into a lot of what the critics say the next day. They say, the critics will say, oh, you know, the band was wimpy, the band sucked. But it doesn't matter what the critics say because it's you who wanted to go see it because you love it anyway. Well, sometimes, though, you'll go to see a show. And I guess I've been to a couple of concerts that, that just didn't really, they weren't, it's usually if the sound quality is bad or something, then... Mm -hmm. It's like the show might not be as good, or if you're in, there's certain, some kind of certain aspects will bring a show down. If you go to see them one year and it's really great, and then the next year they don't, well, for me, if they don't, you know, do as many things as they did the previous time, it might not be as good. It'll be different, but it might not be as good just because they didn't do as many things. Or if they don't get to set up their full stage, whatever, then that might not be as good of a show either. Yeah. I mean, and there are things that can happen. Now, this one, I was at this one with you, wasn't I? Oh, we went <laughs> was that, Frank. that one's like one sad because times. now we found out when we went to see him, when you and I saw him together, that was his last tour. That was basically his last tour. But he was doing yeah. really cool stuff then because he was like registering people to vote as they came in the door. Yeah. Which I think is a really cool idea when the bands get together, like Van Halen, when they had their show. Everybody bring a can of food and we'll fill up the food bank. That kind of stuff is neat. That's yeah. neat, okay? It's neat. <laughs> and see, Frank was always, uh, he was always an innovative guy anyway, and he would just, uh, he would do basically what he wanted to. I mean, a lot of concert performers will do what they wanted to. Frank always did what he wanted to, and he just basically didn't care. And our Frank did what he wanted to do because he walked out on us tonight. <laughs> well, Frank had something to do. But, um, I well, mean, concerts, I've always, the one, I've always enjoyed concerts. And I'll still go to concerts as long as the ticket prices don't get to be... Too ridiculous. <laughs> ...more than I can afford. But, well, for next time I've asked Lace Land, who knows what we'll be talking about, but we'll see you then. Look for Mark. Look for Mark. Yes, Mark should be here that time. <laughs> Good night, everybody!